Okay, so I've set up a word problem that's similar but not the same as anybody else's. Make sure I don't give away any answers, but it should be the same steps here. Um, there's a company. The cost of producing items is 20x plus 150, and the revenue is 70x minus 0.5x squared. So part A asks you to set up an expression for the profit. Profit is just revenue subtracted by expenses. Profit is how much money you bring in subtracted by how much it costs you. So the revenue for mine is 70x minus 0.5x squared. And I want to subtract that by the cost. But this is an important part. This is a big thing we're looking to see in the discussion board is that you don't type it like this. We don't want to see that. Because all that's doing is subtracting the first term of the cost. We're supposed to subtract the entire cost. So you've got to use parentheses. And that's it. It just needs to be simplified. That is an expression for the profit. Uh, I can distribute that subtraction sign to both terms inside the parentheses like this. And then I can clean it up by combining like terms. And we can put it in descending order while we're here. So we'll move the negative 0.5x squared term out front. Then you get 70x subtracted by 20x makes 50x. And then subtracted by 150 at the end. So that's the cleaned up version of my profit function. And then they say find two values of x that will create a profit of 300. Now I just made up some numbers. I don't know if those are set up to come out nicely when you solve, but I can show you how to solve here. So for part B, they want us to find values for x that will make the profit equal 300. This expression is the profit. We want to know when our profit equals 300 according to these instructions. So I'm going to set my expression in part A equal to 300. So this is a quadratic equation, right? X is being squared. So quadratic equations, we can solve them by first setting them equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract that 300 from both sides. And that's going to be subtracted by 450 over here. Um, and then the leading term is negative 0 0.5. With quadratics, it's easiest if you try to set it equal to, if you try to have the lean term be positive 1, because then we could potentially factor it. You don't have to do this next step, but I'm going to choose to multiply both sides of my equation by negative 2. And the reason is because negative 2 times 0 still makes 0, so we still have the quadratic set equal to 0. And I chose negative 2 because negative 2 times negative 0 0.5 makes positive 1x squared. That's going to be subtracted by 100x, and then plus 900. So here's where you would try to factor. I don't know if I just changed it so that you couldn't factor because I made up my own numbers. But what you'd want to do is try to find two numbers and multiply it be 900, but add it to be 100, uh, to be negative 100. So they're both going to be negative. Um, and if I try, oh, I think I, mine can be factored. That's pretty funny because I just made up <laughs> some random numbers, threw them in here, and I got one that can be factored. I'll show you what to do if yours can't be factored. But you know, send me a, send me an email too. Um, give me your numbers. You know, copy and paste your your question to me. Send me an email, and then I can help you. Um, if you're not sure if you can factor or not, I can tell you real quick. But this can be factored because I found two numbers that multiply to be positive. 900 but out to be negative 100. Those two numbers are negative 10 and negative 90. Because look, negative 10 times negative 90, negative times negative makes a positive. And then negative 10 plus negative 90, that makes negative 100. I just dropped the negative signs when I type that because a negative plus a negative, you're going further back in the negatives. Okay, so that means our factored parentheses is x minus 10 and x minus 90. And now we can bypass the quadratic formula because the two solutions, you'd find them by setting each factor piece equal to zero. Okay, I took the first parentheses set equal to zero, took the second parentheses set equal to zero. So we get two solutions, x equals 10 and x equals 90. So those are the two values for x that would create a profit of 300. Uh, and if you aren't able to do that, if yours isn't factorable, then what you want to do is, depending on which form you have it in, if you have it in this form, these would be your A's, B's, and C's. Um, but you would want to identify your A, which is your leading coefficient, your B, and your C, which is negative 450 in this version. You could either use this one or this one to come out with the same answer. 
you'll identify your a b and c and set it uh, and plug those into the quadratic formula and there's plenty of videos out there about how to use the quadratic formula it's really just plugging numbers in plug in numbers in for a for b and for c and then simplify if you're taking pre-calc you'll definitely want to be comfortable with this formula but Okay, but I th I, my guess is that they've set all these up so that they can be factored just like what I did. In part C, is it possible for the company to make a profit of 15000 What you'd want to do is plug in 15000 instead of 300 like I did up above. Okay, So 15000 is our profit. And then this one, I, I think we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So I'd subtract that 15000 from both sides. So you're going to get to see me do the quadratic formula here. Oh, that's negative uh, 450. Here, I'll leave them plug in the negative signs. Negative 450 subtracted by 15,000. That's negative 15,450. Okay, and so to use the quadratic formula, my B is negative 50. B squared, so 50 squared. That's 2,500. That's minus 4 times A times C, which is negative 15,450. It's all divided by 2 times my A. So I've plugged everything in the quadratic formula. So simplify inside that radical first. So over here, you've got a negative times a negative makes a positive, and then times this number is going to make a negative. 4AC, yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be 4 times 0. 0.5 times 15,450. And so that's 2,500 minus 30,900. So inside the radical, we'll get negative 28,400. And so if you didn't get a negative, you'd want to keep simplifying. 2 times negative 0 0.5, that's negative 1. Um, but a square root of a negative, that's something called an imaginary number. It doesn't exist in reality. Okay, It's not a counting number. It's not a rational number, any of that stuff. So if you get a square root of a negative, that means it's not possible. We would say no because there is no solution to this equation right here. Okay, I hope that helps with your discussion. You're always welcome to email me and show me the steps you've taken if you've gotten stuck. If you try to type stuff in Mobius and it marks it wrong, you, you might have it right. It might, it might just be syntax. So feel free to send me what you have, and I'll tell you whether you can go ahead and post it in the discussion or not.